name is Dion Doty and I'm a rock star painter. I've been into many things in my life. I've been in the poetry scene, uh, the film community, music, and finally back to painting. Music is a real therapy for me and it, it helps me like it's immediate gratification of the needs that I need for it. I can speak about what I feel and just um, let it go. And so anyway, so that happened for a while and that was about, I had a band, I've had two bands, Dido and the Cringe and Hi-Fi Beta. What happened, I got Brian O'Neill involved and you know, we worked at Java together. And so every day we talked about, we talked about the music scene and we, we decided, Travis had asked me to paint the 420 show in 2011. And I'd always had the, the idea to paint my friends. And I was really, like I said, into pop, pop, iconic, pop iconography. And so I looked around, and all of a sudden, you know, I realized that my biggest heroes in life were the people that I was around, the people in the music scene. I was hearing much better stuff than anything on the radio. One of my favorite films of all time was Singles by Cameron Crowe. And if you've ever seen that, it's about Seattle and about how it was forming and that whole community that they had around music and the love and everything like that. And I took a lot from that and I'd always wanted to be in a scene like that. And so when I began painting the paintings, it was like trying to put that type of scene together. All this because what the Tempe music scene's music is about is something that's like a totally eclectic. You know, there's country, there's there's rock and roll, there's soul, there's every type of genre you can imagine. So my idea was to take and paint all the people that I love in gold and blue, because gold is very important, you know, mixed with rock and roll. So gold is like a gold record, and blue is the chakra for the mind, and also my favorite color. And so that is what the way I, my, my whole idea was to create holy relics for the Tempe music scene and to have them all together in the same similar style as one piece of art. And, you know, basically what my whole purpose of that is is trying to elevate the community with my best talent, which is painting. The people that I've painted and I believe are the most amazing rock and roll artists in the world are Paige the Village Idiot, great rock and roll comedy, Kevin Redlick of Quick Henry, awesome rock and roll blues band, Banana Gun, well, they're just from the heart. Kevin Lloyd from there. Um, Walt Richardson, who's a local celebrity and awesome guy. Dry River Yacht Club, Garnet, which they did such an incredible job last night at the sell in. Sarah Robinson, Matt Bush from Sasquanaut, What from Frequent Kings, excellent band, and Anthony Fama and Jess Perot from Dr. Bones. Jonathan from Snakes, 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 Meredith from The Sugar Thieves, and of what Laura says, which is one of my all-time favorite bands, who I think are direct descendants of the Beatles also, which is Mitch Frieda, Danny Godbo, and James. I painted Travis and Brian O'Neill of the awesome grunge-type band Jaffe's Descent, and one of my all-time favorites, Future Loves Past. I painted Tristan B.D., Eric Palmer, and Sarah. And that's the other thing. I've painted at Long Longs, the Cell Inn, the Yucca Tap Room, the Rogue Bar, the Crescent Ballroom, the Nile Theater, and anywhere that rock and roll is alive and kicking. My artistic process for the rock star gold is I take a photo capturing the artist at their most glorious moment, that, they're, that they are full on. Um, the next part of my process is, then I take it, and I, I take and spray paint an 18 by 24 gold canvas, 
then I take the canvas out, put it on a guitar stand with Prussian and cobalt blue, and I paint the negative space while listening to the music where the artist and the audience is sending out vibrations that I try to translate into the canvas and so it becomes more special. And then when I finish the painting, I have the artist sign it and then it thus becomes an icon of Arizona music history. The Tempe Rockstar Gold Series. It's a two-day festival that has all the people that I painted together on stage for the first time ever playing with their paintings suspended from wires. And it's going to be pretty incredible. I'm very excited about it. It's got a terrific lineup. It's the best music in the world. And I love it. And it's going to be at 26 South Farmer at the Cell Inn. And it's going to be one fantastic event September 28th and 29th. And I'm so excited and I hope to see everybody there. Just go to azrockandrow.com. And that'll hook you up to my Facebook. You can see some of the paintings and the way that looks. It'll hook you up to the main event to sign up in RSVP. It'll also let you know exactly who's playing and links to all of their Facebook pages so you can listen to their music also. And it also has my artist statement of what everything that I'm doing is all about.